I'm gonna take you back to the past again with the remastered Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe Video Game coming digitally to Steam and the Nintendo Switch this October 30th and eventually to the PlayStation and Xbox stores. Experience the 8-bit onslaught in a whole new way with all new enhanced visuals, new difficulty options, and improved level designs. We got faster respawning, multiple save slots, and more accessibility options than you can shake a shit pickle at. Are you nerd enough to reach the new final chapter and finish the game's story? Wait, man, this game has a story? Kinda, but wait, there's more. Not happy just getting the game? Then head on over to store.cinemasker.com and check out all the brand new merch now for pre-order as well. New pins, new stickers, new posters, and for the first time ever, new premium shirts like these. You'll be the most fashionable nerd on the block, and I'm not talking death blocks. Looking sharp. But wait, there's more. Want to be able to jam out to all your favorite bleeps and bloops from the game? Then stick this in your sound holes, the three record custom vinyl set of the game's badass soundtrack. Get them all at store.cinemassacre.com AVGN 1 and 2 Deluxe coming October 30th. Yeah! Enjoy the episode. I'm gonna go lay down. Let me take you back to the era of video game mascots. It was during the console wars when competitors were pushing their own characters. Nintendo had Mario, Link, Samus, and Sega had Sonic, Toe Jam and Earl, um, Echo the Dolphin. Yeah, that's right, an ordinary looking dolphin. Not a skateboarding dolphin with a mohawk that shoots lasers and makes wisecracking jokes. No, no, just an ordinary dolphin. It seemed pretty much everyone who had a Genesis had this game in their collection, yet nobody wanted it. Seriously, I've never met one person who said anything nice about this game, but it somehow tricked every Genesis owner into buying it. And Sega really pushed the shit out of it, too. It got ported onto different Sega consoles, including the Sega CD. It got a better sequel, Tides of Time. It got a toddler edition called Echo Jr. It got a shitty Tiger-style electronic game. It got this peak of shit and it even got a goddamn reboot on the Sega Dreamcast. Speaking of which, the Dreamcast is 21 years old this month. Wow, the Dreamcast is old enough to drink. So here you go, Dreamcast. Have a rolling rock on me. Hmm, what a lightweight. Today, I want to focus on the original Echo the Dolphin, but a review on the shitty Dreamcast might show up down the line with its awful dolphin driving controls and creepy rear view face cam like Echo is a fucking car. <laughs> Echo face cam's funny as shit. But here we go. The game starts you off just swimming around with a bunch of other dolphins. You can do a dash attack. You can shoot a sonar wave that lets you talk to the other dolphins and also works as a map if you hold the button down. The opening is pretty straightforward. You're just chilling out in the sea with your dolphin friends and then BAM! You get hit with one of the most traumatizing moments in video gaming history. Seriously, that shit just came out of nowhere. When you jump as high as you can, it triggers a tornado. The screen flashes and every one of your dickhead dolphin friends gets sucked into the air while the Genesis sound chip bombards you with the worst sound it has to offer. No joke, I actually know someone who, as a kid, was so freaked out by this part, they hid it under their bed, and under their bed it remained for years. True story. This might be one of the earliest examples of a video game jump scare. This was back in 92, when most people playing video games were kids. This game might have done more damage to kids' minds than Mortal Kombat. Who would have thought a game about a wimpy dolphin with stars on its head would be one of the most 
terrifying things ever. If you manage to play past this point, you'll hit the first true level of the game, the Undercaves, and this is where shit really hits the fan and you're introduced to one of the most annoying things in the game, the air meter. Echo is a dolphin, so that makes him a mammal, of course. And mammals ain't fish, so they can't breathe underwater. I've read in zoo books that the average dolphin can hold its breath for 8 to 10 minutes. But the dolphin in this game? 1 minute, 20 seconds. And not only that, it fucking dies! Pathetic. Really fucking pathetic. Echo is not supposed to be your average dolphin. He's a super dolphin. Why can he only hold his breath for a minute and a half? I think I can hold my breath longer. Is he a goddamn chain smoker or something? Chill out on the fucking Newports, Echo. You can replenish the air meter by reaching the surface, finding air pockets, or places with bubbles. A majority of the levels take you deep under the ocean and you only get a few places for air. It's like the underwater stages in Sonic, but way more frustrating. Each level gives you a laundry list of chores to complete with no clear direction and zero checkpoints. The air meter makes you rush, which causes you to make mistakes and, of course, die. So the game boils down to just swimming around for 20 minutes here and there and trying to figure out where to go and dying over and over again. It's an under the sea frustrating fuck frenzy. So in the first level, you have to nudge this glowing shell over to these boulders, which makes them disappear. I don't get why, but apparently this seashell is so strong it disintegrates boulders. This is a lot easier said than done. Echo controls like he's swimming in vodka rather than salt water. Every time I miss the goddamn rocks, I have to swim a quarter mile away to make the shell reappear. All that just to completely fuck it up yet again, and then you gotta repeat the process over and over and over. Fuck! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah! Fuck! I don't know how many tries it took me, but it was a lot. And then after all that, I found out I needed a key glyph. You see, there's these giant crystals all over the levels. Some are keys and some are like doors. You need to touch the key crystal so you can shoot the door crystal. It makes me want to shoot a meth crystal into Echo's ass flipper. <sighs> so I swam around until I found the key glyph crystal in this cave, and it really sucks to get to. There's invisible sea currents in random places, so the controls will just go dead without any clear reason why. All the while, blowfish are flying all over trying to insert themselves into Echo's anus while he just floats there like a jackass. I get the key, shoot away the door, but I'm running low on air. So I gotta turn back to the air pocket real quick to catch my breath before moving forward. And the door cliff re-fucking spawned and won't let me pass. Are you kidding me? I have to go all the way back to the key again? Oh, the sea is a cruel mistress. So I go all the way back, get the key glyph, shoot the door, and then encounter the giant octopus. You have to gently tap the controller to get past it. If you try to go any faster, the octopus will fuck slap you back to the password screen. Which means doing everything over again. So get the key glyph, disintegrate the rocks, shoot the door glyph, breathe that fucking air, and swim slowly past the octopus. Again. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm almost there. You just gotta get past the door. Fuck, I'm running out of air! Yep, yeah, okay. No! No! <sighs> <sighs> The level isn't actually that hard. It's just the complete lack of direction that keeps messing me up. I'm finally through the undercaves and on to the next shitstorm. The next level has you rescuing dolphins that are stuck throughout the caves. There's three dolphins you need to find to exit the stage. Also, you 100% need to find them all so you can upgrade your sonar, and it'll let you attack enemies with it. I saved one dolphin and then accidentally exited the level. Since it let me progress, I didn't think anything was wrong until I found out you need to find all three or you don't get the sonar upgrade. So I have to reset, enter the password, and find all three of these 
stupid fucking dolphins. <laughs> There's always an easy dolphin that's right near the beginning. It's just a tease though, because usually you have to go damn near to hell and back to find the other two dolphins. You need to use boulders to swim down into the tunnels without getting pushed back up the current and then hopefully pick the right path. Most of the paths lead absolutely nowhere and you end up having to return to the surface just to head back down again. I finally found two dolphins and just need one more. The last one is all the way near the end of the level, so you need a rock to block the currents. Oh fuck! I missed- wait, no! Oh god damn it, the current pushed me out the exit so I missed the sonar upgrade, AGAIN! I have to do everything all over again! 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 Then again, after repeating this level so many goddamn times, I basically have it memorized. You end up dying and starting over so many times that it becomes muscle memory. And after all that, I finally saved the third dolphin, got the sonar upgrade, and got to the next level. Which is... rescuing three more dolphins?! <sighs> So now that I've gotten that out of my system, this level is like the last one, but way worse. Again, there's a dolphin right at the beginning to tease you. I really don't get why this dolphin couldn't just swim up. It's literally just straight down from the beginning. This dolphin's just a lazy piece of shit, and I hate him. The second dolphin is also kind of easy to get to, but I can understand why it would need help getting back. It's a bit far off from the rest of the pod. This dolphin is okay in my book. This level has you using the glowing shell again, but this time it just falls into place without you having to nudge it. I guess the game coders decided to have a little mercy on you here, considering the last dolphin is a bitch and a half to find. First, you have to swim through this tunnel filled with these weird tentacles that grab onto you. You have to do a mix of dashing and swimming real fast to get out. All the while, the game slows down to a crawl. And up to this point, it was so fucking fast. I mean, that processing is so goddamn blast! So then you have to swim past another octopus and find these weird spiky balls that break rocks. They're like the shell, but they're spiky balls instead. To get them to the rock, you have to scoot them around using your sonar. This is super fucking frustrating. It isn't always clear on where you need to position them, and it's very easy to get them stuck in the wall. I guess you could say this game is really balls to the wall. Like, look at this. I got them all the way to the boulder, but I was off by an inch. And now they're stuck in the rocks and I'm fucked. So, you know what I gotta do? I gotta go back and do it all again. This time, I got them in the right place and broke the boulder, but I went the wrong way and ended up back at the beginning of the level. So, time to swim back through the tunnel of tentacles and past the octopus. Thankfully, the boulder's still gone. Oh, great, a fucking door glyph, and I haven't found the key. The key is all the way back where the second dolphin was. Back to the door glyph. I shoot it away and move on to a maze of tunnels that are infested with jellyfish and crabs that just fly all over the place. But they're not really crabs, they're just flat pictures of crabs that don't even move. But they're flying all over. Bullshit. So finally, I get down to the furthest depths of the maze, and there he is. The asshole dolphin. How the fuck did this dolphin manage to even get here? That makes absolutely no sense. How in the crap hell did this, this suck bitch dolphin get down here? How did it pass the octopus, tentacles, crabs, and jellyfish without dying? Did it also shoot the spiky walls into the boulder and then put the boulder back? How is it even alive? Echo dies after a minute and a half without oxygen, but I've been playing this level for almost 20 minutes and this dolphin hasn't died. Okay, who cares? All that matters is I've rescued the last one and they gave me another new sonar upgrade that 
makes sharks confused? Awesome. Time to get the hell out of this godforsaken level and never return. So back through the tentacle tunnel, the octopus room, the crab maze, and I'm finally nearing the end. Oh, and great, I'm dangerously low on health. And air! Please, for the love of fuck, I just want this to end, please! Okay, I got the spiky things, just have to get them to the end, and I'm out. Oh, fuck off, crab! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Damn it, wait, where are the spiky things? <gasps> fuck! This game shoots diarrhea at its festering blowhole, raining down on all the aquatic ass masters in the Atlantic Ocean. I swear on Poseidon's puckered piss hole that this game's making me want to cram a crusty crab up my cornhole. Echo the dolphin? More like fucking shit dolphin. <laughs> 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 AVGN 1 and 2 Deluxe coming October 30th. Yeah!